Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we're starting a new topic. This time we are talking about pressure measurement. All right. So this time we're talking about pressure measurement, and this is not that easy. It's very common. Yeah. So we're measuring the pressures of liquids. We're measuring the pressures of of gases, uh, and that's almost it. But very common. A usual process unit. Huh? Pressure. What is pressure? Well. It's not that easy to answer. Huh? Actually, the definition of pressure is very easy. Yeah? Definition. Write it down. Definition. The pressure P is the force applied to a certain area divided by this area. So it's usually huh? Newton per square meter. This is pressure, this is definition of the pressure. Does not sound too complicated, right? However, it's always the details. And this detail is not at all a, a tiny detail, it's a huge detail. Eh? Because we are not living, we are living on the, on the bottom of a sea. Eh? We don't get it, yeah? we don't feed it usually, but we are living at the bottom of a gas sea we call atmosphere. It's a mixture between uh, different gases uh, and well, we are living down here and we have already a quite an amount of pressure, of force applied to our bodies. Like I said, we are used to it, we don't feel it, yeah? like the fish really deep down in the sea does not feel really the pressure of the liquid because it is used to it. So what we've got actually, we have different pressures. So if we are looking at the pressure scale, then here at zero pressure we have vacuum. Perfect vacuum. There is zero pressure. There, there is not even a tiny little atom which might apply pressure to a surface, which might apply a little force to the surface. Yeah? Then somewhere yeah, we have the usual pressure. Yeah? This is the current ambient pressure. Okay, so this is the ambient pressure. Local air pressure, something like this, yeah. P amp, ambient pressure. Okay. Since this, you know, the weather conditions differ and so on. So this is not an absolute value. So this is somewhere a range around, uh, because we're living in a pressure, we're living in an atmosphere, active atmosphere. So we have a range around some middle value and of course this middle value also depends on the sea level for instance yeah so if you're higher above there is less atmosphere above you so the pressure is less if you far down yeah, the pressure is higher because you have more air column above your head it's hydrostatic pressure it's the same like if you're diving down in the sea exactly the same yeah so Let's say we have here a certain pressure level we want to give. Huh? Then this here, compared to the absolute vacuum, is the absolute pressure. Okay, this is the absolute pressure. And then we also have here this difference is Px, yeah? this is the excessive pressure. So the pressure we add to the ambient pressure. The ambient pressure plus the excessive pressure gives the, the absolute pressure. This is why in some cases here, if we are below the ambient pressure, we have this here, negative P 
Px. So the, the excessive pressure might be positive or negative. Whenever you see a scale where we see negative pressures, it will not go below one, minus one, yeah? because usually, usually, so <sighs> I have already said one. Yeah? That's not true. Yeah? One, what is one? Yeah? Because pressure is widely used and pressure is often used and pressure was measured a long time ago. Yeah? One of the first persons who, who, who measured pressure was, well, pressure was Evangelista Torricelli. Yeah? He was an Italian scientist yeah? who in 1633, 1633, a long history of measurement, yeah? he tried to determine this ambient pressure. Yeah? And he tried it to balance a, a column of, of, of mercury uh, with the ambient pressure. Uh, and he realized, okay, the usual ambient pressure, so the middle of this ambient pressure, was around 760 millimeters of mercury column. Uh, this is one pressure unit, yeah, millimeters of mercury. <laughs> It has nothing to do with the definition, right? It's just this 760 millimeters of mercury process the same hydrostatic pressure than the air column up to wherever there is no fixed border. Uh, there is no end of the air cap. Yeah, so this was Torricelli. Yeah, and this one millimeter Hg, one millimeter uh, mercury, is called one tor, uh, one torricelli, one of the first, uh, and still used in some weather forecasts yeah, or weather stations and so on. This torricelli, this millimeter of mercury, is still in use. Yeah, a very this this here one newton per square meter. This is the as SI unit. This is called one pascal. Yeah? A very common unit here at our place is one bar, yeah? which is not really uh, an SI unit. However, it's so. I'm going to write down here now different units on the table so that we can compare. All right. So say we have one one pascal. Huh? We have one Pascal. And here, if we want to measure this in bar, yeah, we have this. Uh, the factor is 0 0.1234. That's the factor. One bar is 0 0.00, as one Pascal is 0 0.0001 bar. Huh? What is this in millibar? Zero dot zero one, uh, three zeros less, of course, uh, milli, uh, in Pascal, of course, it's one. Uh, one Pascal is one Pascal, right? Then there is one megapascal, Newton per square millimeter, this is. Uh, this is, of course, zero dot one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, yeah, that's it. And then we have a unit also one kilobond per square centimeter. This is also called one Atö. Uh, Atmosphärenüberdruck in German. Atö was a very common unit 35, 40 years ago. ago. Atö. Atö. Uh, what is one Pascal in Atö? Well, that's 10 dot 19716 raised by the power of minus 6. Uh, Atö. Atmosphärenüberdruck. Uh, then there's one atmosphere. This is slightly, this is strange. Uh, there's Atmosphärenüberdruck and there's also one atmosphere. And this differs uh, because here we are at 9.86. Nine two three ten by raised by the power of minus six. So almost, yeah, almost ten both, but not. <laughs> yeah, and then we have of course this one millimeter mercury. Yeah, 
o von Torricelli, von Tor. Uh, uh, this is 7.50062 raised by the power of minus 3. Yeah. And then we have 1 meter water column. Uh, water column. 1 water closet. <laughs> 1 meter water column. Also in German, 1 meter it's not one milliwatt second, it's one meter water soil, water soil, one meter water soil, one meter water column. What is this in Pascal? It's 101.9716, 10 raised by the power of minus 6. One Pascal. Yeah? That's Pascal. In different, and that's all. Yeah? However, I want to give you also for instance, one bar, that we know exactly what one bar is. Yeah? One bar. One bar is one bar. That's clear. Yeah? One bar is 1000 millibars. Yeah? One bar is 100,000 Pascal. Yeah? One bar is 0 0.1 megapascal. And now we come to this. Yeah? It's 1.0. Zero one nine seven one six, yeah. Atus, yeah. and zero dot nine eight six nine two three atmospheres. Okay, it's seven hundred fifty dot zero six two millimeter mercury, and it's ten dot one nine seven one six meters water column. Uh, this is one bar. Okay. And since this meter water column is very usual in, in hydropower plants, for instance, yeah, so we have one meter water column. Yeah. How many bars is this? This is uh, 980665, 10 raised by the power of minus 3. Uh, how much minibar? 98.0665, of course. This raised by the power of minus 3 is gone. Pascal, it's 9806. Uh, multiply simply. Yeah. Mega Pascal, uh, 98 minus 3. And now here, atmosphere. Überdruck 0 0.1. Yeah? So 10 atmos 10 meter water columns is one or two. Yeah? Here we have of course of one. Atmospheres it's it's uh, 96.7841 raised by the power of minus three and Torricelli six. Yeah. And one thing, which is also because it is uh, usual, or it is the history from, from Evangelista Torricelli, atmospheres, we have here uh, uh, one tor, uh, no, one, I would write one, one atmosphere. Yeah, is one atmosphere, and this is 760 millimeters of of mercury. Yeah? That's one one atmosphere. Yeah? This is what this Evangelista Torricelli found out. So you see, it's not that easy. Yeah? A lot of different units. Yeah? A lot of different pressures, even absolute pressure, excessive pressure. I hope it's getting clear now. Usually we're talking about bars and excessive pressure. Okay. What different types of pressure measurements there are, we will start next time with the liquid pressure measurement. Uh, so all the approach Torricelli used. Uh, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.